What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So this will be the spoiler free review for Prelo Liars Original Sin Season 1 Episode 6 through 10. Um, I honestly will say that the second half of this show did get pretty intense, very chaotic, and it was just wild. <laughs> very wild, very satisfying, very gory at times, and just a lot of anxiety inducing sequences as well so i mean i i will say that the pacing still remains like the biggest issue for me as far as it pertains to this show because it's literally jumping scene to scene and it does it so much it makes certain scenes seem pointless or underwhelming and a lot of times i found myself going like okay well why was this here i really want this show if it gets its second season to focus on letting things breathe letting certain important plot developments get their own time to shine because they are determined to give you answers, but everything is hitting you so fast at certain moments in the later half of this season that it's like, okay, slow down. Or it's something that's very important that was being a slow built up, then it's just over within seconds because of the pacing. So the rapid pacing does keep the show engaging, of course. Bailey Madison continues to deliver one of the best performances I've ever seen from her here as Imogen. Her energy just honestly makes Imogen more likable, and Bailey has always been good when it comes to facial expressions, the way she's delivering her lines with so much passion. For me, it's a little bit of just being impressed with how far she's come, how talented she's always been, while also th mixing all that into giving you a character that's just someone you always will want to root for here in Imogen. The Angela Waters drama gets more twisted a is indeed revealed imogen's baby daddy is revealed more nods happen to rosewood you get more nods to rosewood in the og series more nods to the horror genre and tabby and imogen share a horrific secret together um, i'm not going to outright spoil anything but the second half just puts a lot of attention on the torture the torture porn side of horror you can take of that what you will so this first season has effectively just provided ingredients to be stronger than the OG due to the handling of the mystery. I'm not saying it's a better show than the original. I'm not saying that. It just has the ingredients that I think could take it further to end up being better than the original. My only gripe again comes down to the pacing, making it seem like there wasn't enough time for them to let every big reveal shine on its own when there clearly was if you just structure, a little, structure the series a little bit better. Uh, the show just has to work on that going forward. That's really all I have to say as far as like a negative, a big negative. All the actresses here are very impressive in their roles. Chandler, Maya, Zaria, Malia, and Bailey all have great chemistry that I felt with this group like how i felt it with the original girls i was completely sold on their friendship and i just look forward to seeing more of this if it actually happens now maybe i'm looking maybe i'm not looking hard enough but no one has guessed the reveal that's coming so that might make some of you exciting if you're listening to this the cinematography remains very gorgeous for the most part lots of cool sequences in the carnival episode specifically and a wonderful shot of the masked figure watching the carnival from above but i know there's like images of that already circling around on in on the internet and on twitter so again the show does not to an old tiresome formula i will say from the original show the girls think someone is a and then they gaslight themselves into it when they know it's not true original sin takes that though and improves on it which i liked because the girls don't collectively gaslight themselves for a long period of time over a suspect that ultimately isn't correct so I will say I found the A reveal again to be very satisfying. I'm not saying everybody will be overly impressed with it, but given how the other two after Mona were so horrifically bad, this one takes the second best role. The entire setup to it, the built up to it, and the whole sequence that unfolds during the reveal, how it's a lot more cohesive than a lot of the past two A reveals we've gotten. There are some things that are like, yes, logic gaps and things that are, go unanswered, some loose plot threads, but it's the second best behind Mona. Uh, and again, like I said, are there logic gaps? Are there unanswered questions? Is Are there signs of bad writing in general? Yes, but not on the level like what you were served in the original show in those later seasons, I promise. The mystery being front and center is how the show should be, and Original Sin doesn't disappoint in that department at all whatsoever. It just is very, it's very rapidly paced at times when I think it needs to slow down. There's an interesting plot development in the last few minutes of Original Sin that I'm sure some fans will enjoy, and I'm curious if this will lead to two cameos in season two again, if that happens. Uh, as far as like the A reveal, during this, I honestly was getting vibes from Scream 2, Welcome to the Dollhouse episode from season five of the original show, a little bit of Saw and Buffy season one. 
for the, my Buffy fans out there. I mean, perhaps there's a little bit too many nods going on, but this show has me hooked. I know it has a lot of you hooked. I'm not saying it's the best, the best slasher show to ever grace a small screen or anything like that. It's just an impressive take on this IP, and I desperately want season two. I'm liking what they've been giving us so far. The show is nailing it with the soundtrack, but I'd still give the advantage to the OG. But the show just, again, does incorporate a lot of cool sequences with some cool bops behind them as well to get the energy going, add some momentum them to them uh minus again some gripes i had with pacing and dialogue this show is a hit with me honestly i want more of it i want hbo max to continue this show uh the reveal that comes again does have many loose ends most likely done on purpose though to lead into season two imogen does have a brutal chase sequence that is again very anxiety inducing due to the circumstances that happen during this pursuit and bailey again she's just hitting it from all cylinders selling it so well the show does a better job at handling the underage relationships or interest from older men in underage girls. One particular revelation does have clues you can pick up on as you rewatch the show. And I appreciate the series going in a route many might deem predictable versus shock factor that makes no sense. Because I know a lot of you felt like the OG show had an obsession with trying to outsmart its fans versus doing what made sense. Uh, placing the moms at the center of this mysteries with their daughters forces the parents to be more involved. And that's a big improvement for me over the original. They learn about A eventually as a result of this because we know this has to do with them and what they did with Angela Waters. Whereas in the original show, the parents are involved to a certain extent, but a lot were gone in the were gone a lot of the time. So coming out of the first season, Imogen and Tabby to, to me definitely have the most compelling arcs. All the liars again are dealing with their own struggles. It bonds them over time. It gives you a chance as a viewer to grow attached to them. Maybe you find even something about yourself within some of the things that they're dealing with on a personal level. And all in all, this was a very satisfying first season. The finale is honestly one of the most exciting things I've seen from this universe in quite a while. Uh, maybe I'm being a little bit too dramatic, but the ending of that original show was just so horrifically bad. And the, how bad it got was so terrible that this is just an improvement on many on many sides and many fronts. I want everybody involved in this show to be proud of what they've done. Uh, if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and there is a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And I will say that the A reveal, yes, they all find out. It's not just us. Us and the girls find out, and it's a, it's a good sequence altogether. All that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.